Has there ever been something so reminiscent from your childhood that just stuck with you all the way through until you were an adult? And then maybe you didn't quite forget about it, but it was shoved way back into your memory until something, I don't know, brings it to light to you. And all of a sudden you have that aha moment where you're just, you just gasp and you're like, Oh my God, that is it. Well, this is what has happened to me with this unboxing, my friends. Um, hi, I'm Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. And if you've been back before, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Today we have um, a very special to me um, unboxing from Diamond Art Club. And when I tell you, that I clutched my imaginary pearls, I, they got clutched. When Diamond Art Club showed this in their, you know, daily, you know, release to the upcoming Saturday of release, um, I I knew it. It was my one and only for that week, and I I couldn't I couldn't help it. Um, and this is I'll just show it to you guys. It's a big one. Um, this is, <clears throat> let me make sure I'm in frame. This is Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod by none other than Scott Gustafson. And this is a big one, you guys. It's 65 by 81 centimeter square diamond painting kit. So just a little bit of a backstory. This is a very, very old uh, poem. And it was written by an American writer. Um, name, uh, like a writer and poet. His name is Eugene Field. And it was published like late 1800s, um, 1880-ish or so. Um, and the original title was The Dutch Lullaby. And this is a poem about three children named Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. And it's a fantasy bedtime story about these three children and they sail in a wooden shoe and they go fishing among the stars from a boat and the wind and all this other stuff. You guys, it, we already know, or maybe you don't, but Scott Gustafson's artwork is one of the most whimsical art artists that they have licensed with them. I have every single one. I think there's three of his kits. I have all three of these kits that they've released from this artist. Um, and I did complete um, Midsummer's Eve. I'll go ahead and put that post review down in the description for you. Um, we have Neo here today. Hello, sir. Do you guys see his crystal? Do you see Neo's crystal? But Neo's gonna help me. Um, if you hear anything in the background, that's the dishwasher, and you might hear the cat's toy. But anyway, we have Neo here to help me unbox this one. Don't you kind, sir. Don't you kind, sir, my handsome boy. You, 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 you. Anyway, let's get into it because I've been babbling enough. I just wanted to share a little backstory. Um, I don't remember. I think my parents might have read this to me. I'm not quite sure, but it definitely struck like that familiarity with me as soon as I saw it. Um, I thought it was funny because um, Christopher and Ritz and I, we share like what we're going to get throughout the week. And I literally sent this and Christopher was like, I thought that'd be too cutesy for you. And I'm like, we all had that soft spot. And if it's, and if it's Scott Gustafson's art, I'm getting it regardless. So let's get into it. You guys, we have our big old box right here. I'm going to set this aside. We have our small sticker right here. This is great for your log book. Some people make cover minders, some people out of them, some people put them on their box. I just hold on to them. I put both the large and the small sticker in my log book, um, and it gives you the shape, and it's just a cute little keepsake. So I'm going to put this over here for now. Let's go over the toolkit. Um, a round and a square toolkit are exactly the same as far as contents go, except that the, um, square toolkit comes with a pair of branded Diamond Art Club tweezers. They are very sharp, so please be careful. I got, ooh, a black seashell. I don't have a black one. 
Um, I'm not sure how much longer they're going to be doing minders, but this one has it, so I'm going to take it. Cute little black shell cover minder. And, oh, wow. So this is some really pretty floral um, washi right here. Very, very nice. Ooh, hydrangeas and some other flower right here. So super, super cool. You get your multi-placers, your pen, your baggies, your wax, and all of that jazz. Everything you need and more to diamond paint. I'm going to throw that back in here right now. And we are going to get into this kit because I am so, so, so excited. I have not seen anyone else unbox this, so I'm pretty surprised. Um, oh, I just love his art so, so much. I really hope Diamond Art Club um, releases more of it this for 2024. Because I am all about this. I guess Neil got bored. Comes in your branded dust bag right here. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. This dust bag helps keep the yuckies, the pet hair, the children fingers, dirt, dust, you name it. Keeps it off your canvas until you are ready to diamond paint. And then, of course, afterwards if you're done. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to unroll this right here. Oh, it doesn't seem as big as I thought. Oh, my God. I just snuck... Sorry, I snuck. I snuck. I did. I did. I am so, so sorry. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Anyway, here is your thank you pamphlet and informational stuff. You have a nice letter from Angie, the founder. Thank you for your purchase. Comes what's included in your kit. A thank you code, tips and tricks. QR codes for some video if you're a visual learner. That most important one to the VIP Facebook group. We have some more step-by-step -step instructions. And last but not least, you've got your QR codes for app and uh, app. Your QR code for the Diamond Art Club app for Droid and iPhone. So get down. And you get 20% off your first app purchase regardless if you have purchased on the website or not before. If this is your first time using the app, you get 20% off. All right. Oh, my God. You guys, this color palette. Look at this large sticker right here. We've got our title, the artist, your start, end date. Look at that moon. Oh, my God. Square, 65 by 81 centimeter. We have 63 colors, and it looks like we have one, two. Ooh, we have four ABs, Aurora Borealis. We, I will show you what those look like later on. And then... It looks like we have two fairy dust diamonds right here. So I am excited about that. So not too, too bad with the colors. Look, so you guys will we'll look closer at it. But I mean, I'm just, I am like speechless. Speechless. Here is our big old pack of sparkly diamonds. Look at that. Look at that too. Look at 554. Five, Look at these colors. You will not get, oh my God, you guys will not get bored of this color palette. Let me tell you what, lots of different colors in here. I'm seeing that one for one already, you guys. All right, are we, let's put the drills over here. Are we ready to take a look at Wink and Blink and, and Nod? Oh my God, shut your mouths. Shut your mouths. There's so this canvas is so glittery too. I want to cry. This would be perfect um, for any child's room, a nursery, um, and anybody shit, anybody's room, your bedroom, your craft room. This will probably go up in my craft room for sure. But this would just be absolutely amazing for um, a child's bedroom. That look at that moon and that. That smile, the face on the moon, and you guys, these flying fish. These flying fish up in the sky. This does have that new perforated, um, already pre-sectioned off um, plastic cover sheet. You can keep it. You can take it off. You can make larger sections. You can do what you want. This is just to help it be a little less overwhelming because I have to section my canvases off. Some people can just... Go to town, like my bestie Brad. He can just go to town, and I, I cannot. I need it sectioned off because I feel overwhelmed and I get distracted. Okay. 
Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in, my friends. Let's zoom in. Oh, my goodness. So at the bottom, we have our thumbnail and we have the title and who is legally licensed by Diamond Art Club. So there is a very nice combination here of color blocking and confetti, you guys. So color blocking is when you have a large section where you don't have to change your colors out so often. And then confetti is where you have a lot of different colors in a much smaller area. And that's where you got to change them out. So we have our fish right here. We have this big fluffy, cl fluffy cloud. We've got our stars. We have our big wooden shoe sailboat right here. And then this quilted sail. And then we've got uh, we've got uh, Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod right there. We have our lantern off the back of the shoe. We have some more fish, and we've got the clouds, and then we have the moon, and he's smiling down at the children. We have a little owl friend up in the sail, up at the up in the mast right here. More fish, you guys. This is just everything. I am so excited about this. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for releasing this one. Oh my God, I'm telling you guys, this is just, this one is perfection. Please license more of his art. Oh my God. I am a sucker for anything whimsical. So I'm loving it down here, you guys. This is filled with AB and fairy dust all through here. That 126 AB and then the fairy dust, which is, um, it's like got like a mica type glitter in it. Um, the, the A, so there's a lot of A's and twos through this cloud. It's just gonna look phenomenal. Um, with all the pinks, these fish right here all have ABs. I know I'm getting out of order, but I'm calling it like I see it because you guys know that on these larger kits, I struggle where you see the white dots. These fish, the majority of these fish are like all AB. There's ABs in every single fish and maybe not down here. Um, we've got our kids right here in the shoe. You guys, this is going to be phenomenal. There's some ABs up in the clouds all throughout, you guys. Oh my goodness. So there is none though. No ABs or anything in the moon. Which is fine because it's just as beautiful. It is just, just, just as beautiful. Um, I'm not seeing where the threes are at. Oh, I'm a liar. It's in these fish. It's in these fish, some of the fish. Um, and we'll take a look at the drills. And you guys know I'm not much for changing up kits, but um, I might have to add some on here as well. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I'm just not good. I am just not good at it at all. I, I think I'd overdo it. What do you guys think? Would it be overdo? Would I be overdoing it if I, I'm all up on this moon and you guys can't even see. I am so sorry. The moon. Would I be overdoing it? I think I would. I think it'd be overdone if I blinged up this moon. I think, see, with Scott Gustafson's art, I feel like sometimes less is more, like what is charted is fine because it's so, I don't know. I, I'm trying to find a different word be, besides whimsical and I just can't think of it, but it's just so innocent and pure and just, when I see it, I'm just like, man, that is so awesome. Like, it's just the best. So I really don't want to mess with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to think about it. Maybe, maybe like I might throw some in here. Like I think maybe if I was going to add any, it would probably be more appropriate to put in the sail, the quilt in the sail. What do you guys think? Think about it while we're looking at these drills. So I'm going to flip this over and say hi to all the kitty hair on the back of my kit. Let's take a look at these bad boys right here. I'm going to get this large sticker sheet out so I can refer to what these symbols are. You guys, this is just going to be phenomenal. I cannot wait to see these special drills. 
All right, so right off the bat, we have our separate one right here. We have our fairy dust. It's 743, this really bright yellow. And that symbol is going to be these wavy lines right here. So I'm going to keep this off to the side. And I'm going to attempt to figure out one day. I, one day I'm going to master how they do these stinking drills. I really, I really am. This one's full in half and in half. Okay. So we're going to start off with a 963, 718. We got some browns in here, 919, 161. Now, Diamond Art Club does theirs by weight and not DMC. So this are the these are the packets with a little bit smaller amount. Ooh, 920, 3799, 316, 434. Squares look great. 437, just a little bit. I haven't had that color. So that is the small one. Okay, well, Marina has figured out we did this one perfectly. And this is just folded in half. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, four bags of 415, 632, our first AB, 131 right here. Gorgeous, that is so bright and sunny right here. And that's well, it's our third AB technically, but first one here. So this is symbol number three. 3861, oh, that's pretty. 3770, three, seven, 553. Here is that white AB. This is our fourth AB, and it is that black dot or square in the white background. The iridescence, the colors on here. 414, 317, 611. And then three, eight, three, five. Five fifty two, three seven, four seven, two oh eight, three eight, three six, three eight, three seven. You guys, two packs of our second fairy dust. That 3743, you guys. Look at that. That is so stinging pretty. Now, I'm not sure if you can see the glistening. I can see it a little bit. So two packs. Oh, 125. This is going to be gorgeous. That is our first AB. This will be number one, that mint color. 738, and then we have one, two bags of 225, one, two bags of 945, 977, 778, and then we have two bags of 799, and two bags of 809. All right, you guys, and on to our last train of drills. And then I want you to put in the comments what you don't see on here. So we're going to start this one off with 780. One, six, ooh, two bags of 168. One, two, three bags of 798. 435. One, two, three bags of 156. 436. 793. You guys. Here is the second AB. Holy cow. Two bags, two fat bags of 126. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, you guys, look. These two are the ones that are paired up in those clouds. This fairy dust and this AB. That is going to be sickening. Oh my God. I can't wait. All right. Then we have. Two bags of 554, 3807, and then we have two bags of 745, that pretty buttery yellow, and then we have 826. So you tell me, what did we not have in here? Not that I'm bummed, even though it is, you know, it's one of my favorite colors, but um, you guys, this color palette, this is probably the one of the most to die for. Can, can color palettes be whimsical? 
Because that's what I'm going to say this is. You guys know I love that word. It's like one of my most favorite words ever. So, let me clean this mess up. And we will be right back. And we're going to kind of peruse around some more and see if we can find some more. But here's the original artwork, you guys. Look, all of that, that's, that mint is going to be in this fish. It's just, to, oh God, it's just stunning. These are like, it's going to give like a glowing effect. I don't know. I think it would take away, I just, I think I just need to do it as is. I need to do it as is, I think. It's just, it's already going to be like amazing from all of this right here that I think this, I don't want to add, draw attention to this. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I think I answered my own question. All right, you guys, let me put this away and I will be right back. All right, all right, we are back. We are back with our gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. So now seeing those colors together, you guys, that is just gonna be insane. And with the mint on here, it's just... Now I do hope their faces come out, but like if they're not super, super clear, like I'm gonna be okay, trust. Um, because I'm too busy looking at everything else, like my focal point, like my eye goes right to that moon and I am like obsessed. Let me give you guys a better look. Like, what do you think? I know some of you might be kind of shocked or whatever. This is not, you know, my normal style. But I told myself a very, very long time ago, after my very first year of diamond painting, um, that I was going, my goal was to open my mind up. Because if you said, Miranda, would you have a Hannah Lynn? Would you have this? Would you have that? During my first year, I've been like, no way. That is not my style. But you know what? So much has changed over, you know, going on my fourth year. And it's just insane. But look at this. Look at this moon. His face. It's giving me like. Just totally retro. Retro. Can retro and whimsical go together? I mean, technically, I guess it would be retro. I mean, since this story this poem was in the late 1800s but anyway i'm not going to keep babbling i want to see i didn't see that i did find the threes i did find the twos i found the ones and the four okay what there were some okay i didn't find we need to find oh that okay the yellow fairy dust the yellow fairy dust is in these yellow fish right here um there are threes over in here. And then I just, I think it'll be fine because there's, there's mint over here. And all the stars will have ABs in it throughout this entire fish. This entire fish is all AB. The owl has a couple ABs as well. There are so, okay, okay, so see. I answer my own question again, even though I keep talking out loud. There's a bunch of ones outlining here. There's some twos. And then there's more twos in here. So I think that's absolutely like just enough, like plenty of AB to not overwhelm the quilt. Oh, and there's fairy dust and ABs in the lantern as well. So yeah, I think that we're good. I definitely think we're good. So, you guys, this is Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod by Scott Gustafson. It is a 65 by 81 centimeter square diamond painting, and it has four ABs and two fairy dust diamonds. Who else got this kit? And let me know what you think. You know I want to hear it. I love your guys' comments. Um... Your, you guys, your comments and your support is what helps keep me going. But anywho, that is enough for me. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. So until next time, my friends, remember, be safe and be kind. Bye.